The New York City Economic Development Corporation wants you to believe that the Coney Island Ferry will cause no harm, that it will just drift into Coney Island Creek without a worry or a ripple. But the truth about this project is terrifying. The peaceful, natural shoreline environment that the Coney Island community currently enjoys will soon be shattered and destroyed by a dubious ferry project that no one ever imagined would actually be placed here. My name is Beth Ritter. My husband was Gene Ritter. A lot of Coney Island people are very familiar with him. Gene and a lot of others around here uh, worked very hard to preserve and improve this very important estuary. This ferry idea is the worst possible thing that could happen. Undo all the hard work that's been done for this environment and just totally destroy it. Do we really want to do that? Hi, no. Hamilton, and Jean's not here to talk about this, so I am. Please do not put this ferry here. It's the worst possible thing that could happen for this environment, for the future, for the future of this community, and all of us. Thank you. I was. My name is Carlene, and um, for me, this is history that needs to be preserved, not be damaged, not be changed but be preserved in the manner where you can still enjoy it without disruption. And having a ferry comes in, it's gonna be a lot of disruption for not just the people in the community, but the wildlife and the sea. Other communities, yes, you know, you preserve your history, you preserve um, the ecosystem there because it helps the wildlife and it helps the children coming up here too. You know, children needs to see um, before, not just modernize, modernizing everything. I, I really think that's the problem. We don't want the ferry. My family and I. <laughs> yes, hi, my name is Raul. Just uh, upset at the fact that, you know, this ferry's gonna get built here. Uh, just, you know, we have this small little pier over here that everybody uses, even disabled people. And uh, I feel that, you know, them hiding this thing from us, you know, I know it's nice to have the ferry from here to Manhattan, but they should have did it elsewhere, like it was planned to on 33rd, and they hid that from us, and uh, also the species that are in the water, like the uh, horse, horseshoe crabfish, and all the exotic birds that are out here, you know, it's gonna destroy the waters on them, you know. Uh, you know, people come and fish and enjoy, you know, the time, and uh, they're gonna disrupt this little park that we have, that we walk our dogs and, you know, kids play here, to build a roadway in the park. You know, I feel, you know, it's disappointing that, you know, we're gonna have to, you know, see this. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have none against the ferry, but they should have built it, you know, elsewhere. So it's real sad, you know, that they, they hiding this from us and, you know, kept this away from us for a while and, uh, like I said, I wish that they could have built it elsewhere, you know? Yes. It's sad. It's so sad, you know? And it destroying our habitat for the birds, the fish, and, and, and everything. And then the young kid, they come out here and they wet their feet. Then they got the people in the wheelchair on the scooter come out here and be on the pier just to enjoy. Then you got barbecue out here. Then all that diesel fuels coming up. You can't be able to cook barbecue or nothing out here. You ain't gonna be able to bring your kids out here. You got to say about that then. You know what you're gonna say? Oh, well, you had nothing to do with it. You're gonna lie, you lie, you lie so bad. And it's a shame before God that to stand before the people and speak and say these things and then turn around and lie about it. It's bad. Well, when I was on the water for the first time, it was an experience I can't describe. It was amazing. I got to go to the kayak for the first time. I got to see an actual shipwreck. And the instructor was so much fun. He was hilarious. And are they really taking this away from people? Are they not doing this anymore? During the planning of this project, this was the only rendering of the ferry dock that the EDC showed to the public. 
The scale of the tiny ferry in the distance can be seen as an obvious attempt to deceive and mislead the public as to the massive scale of this ferry project and the negative impact it will have on Kaiser Park and Coney Island Creek. This is what the ferry dock will actually look like. Another issue that the EDC is ignoring is the narrow channel that will require constant dredging to allow the ferry to navigate into the creek. All summer long, it's filled with swimmers and boaters and children dipping their feet in the water. The EDC never acknowledged the former toxic landfill adjacent to the channel that will be impacted by the dredging and may cause toxic pollution to migrate into the creek. Ferry docks should operate in open water, not in dangerous, narrow channels filled with people. From the first day that the mayor announced that a ferry would be built at the west end of Coney Island, residents in the surrounding community expressed their anger and disappointment at this location at numerous public meetings. Faced with this community opposition, the EDC and the local councilmen did what junkyards, illegal dumpers, and other toxic polluters have done for over a century. They dumped the project into Coney Island Creek. Like polluters of the past, they chose to do the project quick and dirty and hoped that no one was watching. They tried for two years to confuse the public by publicly stating that they hadn't finalized the location. Their plan worked as people are still confused and angry about the location chosen for this dock and the environmental degradation that it will cause. The Coney Island Ferry will wind up as just another piece of garbage washed up on the shores of Coney Island Creek.